My fucking uh my fucking uh Corey Danger. That is enjoy. Testing, testing one two. Is this working? Is this on? Is it broadcasting to the world out there? Hello, welcome to my channel, my video. It, this is my uh how you say corona pandemic tam pan pandemic four month update video if you will i guess that's what this video is because mainly i don't have much else to report on i haven't got any new shoes last video i said i was gonna post a video saying if i got the chunky donkeys well I didn't get any. I did not win any sneakers raffles. I did not win any other raffles that I entered in. Nothing. I didn't get no Chunky Dunkies. I didn't get no Travis Scotts. I just, I'm not lucky when it comes to these high end mother effing shoes. Who's with me? Raise up your hands. Anybody else get a Chunky Dunkie here? You, sir? I hate you. Ma'am? Mm, you're lucky, but anyways, not me. I did not win. So I don't have any unboxings for you. I don't have any mail days for you. All I have is this video letting you know that, hey, it's been about four months. We're coming on four months since I've last worked. Not four months since the coronavirus started, because we don't know when that thing started, okay? Some say it was since December. Some say January, and keeps going on and on and on. Luckily for me, I recently am going back to work. I actually worked yesterday. No, two days ago. I worked two days ago it was a very slow shift we were working at 50 percent capacity i made some money i'll be honest i did make a, a few bucks a few rubles some gas money some food money i actually uh, used some of that money after i got off of work because we are on shortened hours because of curfew because of the ongoing situation that has been currently going on i'm pretty sure you know what situation that is anyways so i actually spent some of that money on a car wash because my car was dirty very very dirty and i took it to soapy joe's car wash to get a ten dollar wash i just i just wanted to clear up some of it unfortunately because of the virus what's good about soapy joe's is you spend like 10 bucks that's the cheapest you go to the little conveyor belt car wash washes off most of the dirt and grime from everywhere maybe a little bit un underneath the carriage too and the tires and whatever but they also have free vacuums or it's not technically free it's included in the price package vacuums and little towels where you can wipe everything off. That's what I really liked about Soapy Joe's is not only do I get vacuuming amenities, but I get a cloth that I can use. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, no cloths were available. Understandable. They don't want it to spread on the cloths and whatever, but I, I usually use those cloths to scrub out whatever the car wash did not scrub because there's a lot of stuff like bugs and whatever that gets stuck even though you get washed. There's residue. So I still had a lot of residue. So I might need to go back later on, which was supposed to be today. I was supposed to be working today uh, unfortunately i get the text message saying hey we don't think it's gonna be busy today so you don't need to come in which is like on one hand i'm like okay i guess the other hand is like okay i, I guess i i, I want to make money but also i kind of don't want to work because i'll be honest my last shift it was kind of very slow I, there was only so much i can clean over and over again till i started scraping the paint off or cut a hole in the leather or whatever is constantly scrubbing because that's what pretty much everyone else was doing when there was nothing to do we had to clean something or look busy or whatever but this was our first day back there wasn't really much to do other than just clearing up the dust but once the dust was cleared that's it not, not much to clean so it was an easy shift but it was also a boring shift most restaurants right now if they are open they are open at 50 percent capacity and we gotta wear the masks and uh, it, it takes a while to get used to but you know once you get used to the mask it's, it's not that bad and actually Actually benefits me more so than others because everyone always complains that this face has an RBF and if you don't know what an RBF is that's does this face look like it has resting bitch face? Don't answer that question. But it does help me. It helps me a lot. Because since this is covered, you can't see that I'm not frowning. All you can see is my eyes. Look deep into my eyes and tell me what you want to eat, sir, ma'am. Little child. 
So yeah, that actually helps me a lot more because I don't have to force a smile. You don't see it. The mask is covering it. By the tone of my voice, everything's fine. So that actually helps you out. Helps me out. Also, my job has this new way of serving now. We don't have any busters anymore. We weren't technically supposed to have busters anyway, but my job had busters because it helped get butts on the table, getting things quickly cleaned up and whatever. Now, my job is implementing this new service style where we now have server assistance. So every server is going to be split off between some shifts you get server shifts, some ser shifts you get server assistant shifts. That way it's fair. Now, what's the difference? Servers usually do the top portion of whatever you you normally do, right? Reading, taking drink orders, taking orders, and providing service. But everything else that's after that is taken care of by your server assistant. So you punch in the orders and everything, everything else, whether it is to deliver the drinks, deliver the food, deliver the appetizers, deliver to-go items, napkins, whatever it is, is taken care of by the server assistants. It's good and bad. Let me tell you why. It's good if it's busy because as me as a server, and I get a lot of tables and sometimes I can get slammed, shit can happen. Mistakes can happen and stress can happen. Right now, because it's kind of slow and we're at 50% 50, 50 capacity, it's not that great because once I punch in all the orders, which where I work at, most people can get the orders right away, you know, get the drinks, appetizers, and food within just me standing there, punching it in. And we also have these little devices where we could just punch it in right there. We don't have to run to a register or whatever. So everything can be punched in within two minutes of being sat. That's how quickly it could be done. The whole purpose of this new form format is so that while you're taking the order you can punch in everything right away and so while you're still taking the next thing like you can punch in the drink now while they're taking about uh the, talking about the appetizers as they're talking the server assistant's getting the drinks ready and by the time you're about to punch in the appetizers the drinks are right there on the table so everything's coming out really fast so it, everything about this service style is to get food in food out drink in drink out appetizer in appetizer out and customer in customer out as quickly as possible and this it's actually it is really fast i'll be i'll be i'll be honest yesterday working things were coming out quickly sometimes not because this yes like i said yesterday was the first day that everyone came back for dine-in so it, it there was a little bit of a, a delay because you know you got to get used to doing things because every server assistant this is also goes back to the style that we're doing there's about for every server there's a server assistant and the server assistant has a different duties one makes the drinks one is an expediter you know takes care of the food and stuff make sure everything's uh, correct and trade up and ran and then normally two are the runners and then if the runners are busy then the soda person or the um, expediter will run things if there's it needs to be run so so like i said if there is four servers there'll be four server assistants two of those assistants will be delegated a specific role whether it be the drink maker or the expediter and the rest will be runner and it all depends on how many are on shift so there should at least be two two at the minimum right now because of the 50 percent capacity that's why they didn't call me in today i was supposed to be the third but i was on an upstairs uh section and they think they didn't think i would be i'll be deemed necessary which i was like okay whatever just to let you know that's how my work is it's 50 percent capacity everybody's six feet away and it's not really that busy because not many people know that we're open and not many people are still going out because of the coronavirus but people are still going out because of the protests sort of um, a weird situation we're in like they're saying telling us to stay home because of the virus but people are still going out and not really being told to stay home like if they're saying like it's okay to go out but at least wear a mask or whatever uh, it is a very crazy situation we are going in 2020 right now where it's going it's trajectory. We're probably going to have the end of days because <laughs> it seems like every month something bad just happens. And so we're in a new month. Now we're just going to have to wait and see what's coming. There was tornadoes. Yesterday, it was a big ass earthquake in California. I mean, it wasn't that big, but people were like freaking out. It's like, oh no, we're shaking. It must be the end of time. We don't know. But that's the tra trajectory that it seems like is going. So be prepared, get your bug out bags and whatever ready. <laughs> it was on the news or I was, I've been looking online because like I said, I was stuck at home, like just like everybody. So I had nothing else to do, but watch a lot of YouTube, go on Twitter and stuff and look at, you know, reporters and journalists and things like that. And they, they said that a lot of people bought a lot of guns in May. Everyone's just prepping for the worst, I guess. So not me, I, I don't have a gun or anything, but I do have a knife. It's mainly a... 
camping knife to go camping. That's what I'll probably do. If, if, if shit hits the fan, I'm gonna grab my bug out bag. And I'm gonna go somewhere deep in like Montana or something, somewhere in a jungle, far away from major cities and try to survive through there. You know, hope for the best. As for the money aspect, not too bad, honestly. Because of this whole coronavirus, I've probably made the same or even more than I normally would if I was working because before this whole coronavirus thing, I wasn't really working that much. My job has this weird scheduling thing where it's based off of surveys, and if you're getting bad surveys, you get less shifts. Less shifts. But, like I said earlier, we're on this new format where you have servers and server assistants, and I'm kind of thinking that maybe I might want to be a server assistant. Why? Because I don't need to do customer surveys. And we have voluntary tip share. You don't have to, but don't be a dick, right? If, if you see me, if I was your server assistant and I'm, I'm busting my ass to drop off everything of that's of your section, bringing, you know, whatever it is you need, give me something, right? That's what I did. I, I gave pretty much everyone yesterday or the day before something because, you know, just be fair. We, we had to tip out our bartenders. We had to tip out our busters before. Tip out your tip to, uh, server system. You know, you're, they're doing the heart. They're basically doing the manual labor of the serving. They're, doing, they're the ones that are running. They're the ones that are moving. Me as a server, I was upstairs. Once I got all the, the orders in, I had nothing else to do. I was just standing there like this, like just waiting. Hmm. And for some reason, like I can't just grab the uh, trays from the server assistant. The server assistant has to be the one to drop it off. I don't understand that. Like I don't understand why they can't just give it to me and then me me do it. But that's just the way things are right now. They said we're just on this sort of trial period where we're trying to work out what works for us and what doesn't. So there's a little give and take with that. But they are saying that because we're splitting the duties, everyone will have less stuff to worry about, which is true. I didn't really have to worry about much. Uh, all I had to do was once the food and drinks were dropped, just constantly come back and forth. Says, is everything okay? How's your meal? Is it cooked to your liking? Is everything tasting okay? Is there anything missing? Would you like a refill on your drink, sir? Would you care for any desserts? We have a wonderful dessert. We have some brownies and stuff. Ice cream. How about you, little little one? Would you like a Would you like a kid Sunday? Mm-hmm. And then, then you know take care of the payment and whatever so that's that's my job i i don't even have to get them to go boxes like i don't even have to get them napkins all i do is ask what they want and then i punch it into the thing and then the server assistant's the one that gets it to them <laughs> like i'm not the one that does it so i could just be like anything you need punch it in just walk back to my section station stand there and wait and see the server assistant go by <laughs> and do the stuff and then I, once they, the service isn't co- leaves I just come back so, anything else? no? okay <laughs> so it is a very weird situation we even have to explain to the to the guests bef- when we get to there is that hey I'm the main guy but you're gonna see a whole bunch of other people giving you your stuff we're a team and we're gonna help you have a wonderful dining experience that's 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 the goal I guess of this whole server style thing so yeah we're gonna work it out right now it's kind of boring because it's slow but once it starts to pick up i will understand how this will work the main stress is going to be the server assistance i guarantee it servers are going to have a much easier time doing their job because they have less to worry about all we got to do is take your orders and make sure that you're okay i don't have to go run back and forth to get everything i don't have to do that anymore i don't have to get your drinks i don't have to get your appetizers i don't have to get your food all i got to do is just check up on you every now and then and connect and make sure you leave with smiles that's the easy part in my opinion for me, no. I'm not. I'm not that great. I have to have <laughs> great smiles and connectivity, and make sure that oh, you look like you're wearing a birthday hat. Are you celebrating something today? Oh, you look like you. Wow, that's a nice shirt. Where'd you get your shirt, sir? I, I, I'm not very good at that. I'm not very really good at <laughs> BSing my conversations. Uh, but I am pretty good at running things and making sure things get done in you know proper order. Uh, that's what I was good at at Cold Stone. I was good at running a shift the, of the business side. Like I can get, I can make sure a store is running smooth, smooth as, as, silk. as silk. But I wasn't very great at connecting with customers. That was my 
main flaw. So this server assistant thing might be a blessing in, this, in disguise for me because I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at the, you know, procedural side of things, not many the emotional side of things as people complain about my face. Not very good at connecting. So yeah, this might work out in my favor. And they said, uh, the manager said, if I prefer that, I can get more server assistant shifts if need be. The only downside is the tipping. It all depends on the server and how much of a dick they are if they don't want to give a, a, a good amount of tip. We've had some servers where they like complain like, why do we need to give the buster this much money? Like, why? Like We've had some of those. So don't be that. Don't be that kind of server that's really greedy. Everyone's helping each other out. So, you know, help out. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good server tip. If you see that your server assistant is busting their ass, throw them a couple bones, you know, throw them a couple clams. Everyone will leave happy. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> and I think it's better for me because as a server, I'm just stuck in my section. I can't leave it. So all I'm seeing is the customers and wh whatever one or two server assistant comes by. Whereas a server assistant, you can pretty much go anywhere you want as long as you're running something so I could walk by the cute server section and be just like, hey, how's it going? You know, how you doing? <laughs> or whatever. And I, or I go to the other cute servers, like, how you doing? You know, I dropped your food, you know, <laughs> so what's, what's your number? You know, what you doing later tonight? <laughs> Want to get some drinks or something? So, you know, that that could work in my 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 benefit, you know, keep keep my mind um preoccupied with the cuteness uh, or something. I don't know. It might be work out in my pa my favor cuz like I said, I just experienced the server aspect and it was okay. It was just kind of very boring. It's cuz you can't just be standing in front of your guest the whole time just be like, "So, how you guys doing?" you know? And how's that taste? Good, huh? Yeah, great. Oh, how about you? Is everything fine? You know, something and I'm just be like, Standing here, watching you, making sure that your experience is awesome. Is it awesome? You can leave me a good tip, mm -hmm. are you? I can't do that. That's weird. So I gotta, you know, if while they're eating, if, while everybody's eating, I just gotta be standing like right back here, you know, in the corner, just watching, waiting, trying to anticipate your every needs, trying to stare at your glass, seeing if it's half full, or trying to stare at your appetizers or your plates to see if it's you need it to be cleared off your table. I gotta be on it like a hawk with some binoculars, just just watching, surveying like a like a sniper in a sniper tower, just watching the whole the whole prison, you know, making sure that, you know, there's nobody trying to bust out, you know what I'm saying? That that kinda of, kinda of get kinda of boring. I, I don't think that's for me so i might i might just prefer a server assistant position because yeah i may not make as much tips i will probably be less stressed because all my all i have to do is just drop shit off and ask if they need anything else i don't have to deal with any complaints my job is just to give it to you and give it to you i will hard <sighs> but with a smile of course <laughs> So that's pretty much all I've been doing this whole four months of quarantine. I did file for unemployment because I, I only filed it last month because I didn't think I was going to need it because they said it was only going to be two weeks, two weeks of a lockdown, but it ended up being four months or so. <sighs> I should have, I would have had at least two months of unemployment with that extra $600 added on to whatever it is I filed for, because California did that, on top of the 1200 stimulus. I probably would have made, made more doing nothing than I would actually doing something that would be cool for some, but I like to see people. I like to chit chat with my cute co-workers. That's me. Plus, I'm trying to pay off these bills, which, surprise, surprise, I paid off my car loan just waiting for that pink slip to come in through the mail, and then we're cherry. All I got left is my credit card bill, which hopefully I can pay off within maybe a month or two or three, depending on how many shifts I'm working. Because like I said, again, it's not that busy. And again, most people are on lockdowns. And again, we're only slowly reopening. And again, right now, hours are a bit lower because of curfew because of the recent events. So that's it for today, guys. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like this sort of style, because I'm just trying it out. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube and trying to see other people's way of doing things. Some people like to have just to sit in a chair and have the microphone sort of just like 
hanging over knee like this and talking or just stationary like this or some people like to do voiceovers over video game play or something and then other people i saw this one guy who just does this holding a microphone in hand and just it, it, this kind of feels free it feels like i can do do more more stuff so let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this style plus i get this whole background here that you can just look at while i'm talking shop and whatever and i can just keep moving and grooving and stuff so anyways like comment and subscribe leave any comments uh, suggestions or topics or whatever that i can talk about because i do like to talk two cameras more than i do two people <laughs> That's why I'm going to be a server assistant for the rest of my life. <laughs> I hope that the gyms will be open soon. I did feel like I lost a little bit of weight, especially around the belly area. But I do know that I lost a lot of weight around the muscles area. My, my muscle gains have dropped a bit, and I don't like that. I really want to go to the gym. This whole home gym thing, I, I was on a good kick but it then the motivation started to slowly dwindle after every day i do it at, at least with the gym there's something to look at i'm not trying to be some sort of gym perv but motivation really is the key for me that's what i need i need something to motivate me so if i see you know uh, uh, some some cutie over there in the very very tight pants with the 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 you know, the tight, you know those tight pants where it's like, it's cinched up around the butt area and has this little clamshell look to it, but butt cheeks are showing, like, I don't think it looks good, to be honest. Like, I don't like that little clamshelly look, scaly look around the butt crack area, but the butt area is it's not that bad. And, and it, it does kind of motivate me to go on the bike a little bit and be like, mm, we must lose weight or be on the, the treadmill. And like, oh man, she's right next to me. Gotta look gotta look like I'm trying or, I, or I'm their barbell or dumbbell work and I'd be like 10 pounds huh <laughs> let me get this 100 pound dumbbell and be like mm, you yeah, like you like you like that baby you like strong man <sighs> good stuff so I really need to go back to the gym I do. Anyways, love, peace, and chicken grease, and I will see you next time.